What is up, YouTube? It is Andrew 100,000 here. I cook here today with another Yu Yu awesome Pokemon showdown battle. So let's get right into it with this new team I made. So, as usual, I'm on the other side. I led off with my Heracross. This one is a Guts one. And with Choice Band, I go straight for the Mega Horn, trying to wreck something. Um, but it's fine. Uh, he brings in his Dust Clops. I bring out my. Kingdra because it's choice specs and doesn't mind taking a will of wisp that much and he just stays in and goes for a swagger which is kind of weird so I'm now confused so I, I switch out back to Heracross predicting him to go out into uh, his into his Porygon 2 but instead he just stays in and pain splits which is a little problem but I don't really mind I just go straight for a stone edge Thinking that he's gonna will o wisp me, and I don't mind taking it since I will get the guts boost. So um, I just stay in and try and kill him off with another Stone Edge, but he does make a good play, go into Bronzong. Now I have to switch, and since I know he's gonna take this opportunity to put up the rocks, I do as well, and he just put the uh, Toxic Sweep as I just Dragon Tail, thinking that I can just like store something as he. Uh, switches up it it turns out he just psychics me so um seeing that this hit on top does not have the intimidate i go out into my cough egregious knowing that i can take any move from it and yeah of course he's a life or uh technician one but he does go for the rapid spin and i do block it and get off with will o wisp so that effectively makes it useless so now he brings back in his bronzong i can't do anything to it so i go into my kingdra um <laughs> also predicting the toxic as well so now my king drug just goes straight for the hydro pump because i know that will do the most damage to whatever um provided that he stays in of course um since draco would do like nothing to it so now i go for another hydro pump thinking that it would uh just seeing how much damage it would do but it just goes for the recover so i know that he's going to stall me out so i have to switch out and go into my own porygon too um just to toxic it which is uh yeah, to slow, uh, slowly get down its health, I guess. So now I'm predicting a discharge again, so I go into my ride period to uh, take it, obviously. And then now I go back into my Porygon 2, as I know that his Ice Beam is coming. So this is all just to waste turns to rack up his toxic damage. Now I bring in my, uh, with my Porygon 2, I just recover off his damage as he just switches out again and I'm thinking a thunder wave is coming so I do go into my ride period to t easily take it and threaten him out um, just with another dragon tail so now his dust clops is effectively dead as he switches it back in as long as he doesn't rapid spin away so now he brings in his flygon and he goes for the u-turn I don't really care I just went for the dragon tail just to try and stall out uh, rack up some Stuff rock damage as I just let my ride period die since it's not of much use to me anymore. So now he brings in his Flygon and he does kill my uh, ride period off. And I bring in my Rotom because I'm thinking that he's choice in some way. And of course he is and he just switches out as I just Volt Switch. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just go for the Volt Switch. I was thinking about going for T-Volt or Volt Switch. But then I thought uh, T-Volt won't do anything to his won't do much to his Porygon too, so I just decided to Volt Switch away. So now he brings in his Togekiss, I bring in my Cofagrigus, uh, <laughs> well I went for the Shadow Ball trying to kill off his uh, thing, and then yeah, he makes a good play. <laughs> okay, now he roosts up and Thunder Waves my Porygon too. I just go for the Discharge trying to do damage to it, and yeah, he actually happens to have the heal bell. So my toxic plan is not going to work, unfortunately. And now I'm paralyzed and he does have that 60% flinch rate with his air slash. And he just manages to air slash through my specially defensive Porygon 2 until it dies. Which is a little shame, but whatever. Just let it die. Couple more turns. And then finally I'm dead. So now I can easily go into my Heracross now. Since I am not that Moxie one, I am Guts with Choice Band. I know that a close combat would easily one hit KO it. He may not know that, thinking that, oh, I'm crippled. 
good with the burn, but whatever. Now, uh, Heracross is of no use to me anymore, so since it would die to Stealth Rock damage, so I just let it die as he just U turns out into his Hitmontop. So I don't want him to rapid spin away, so I just bring in my Coffer Grievous and I just go for a Shadow Ball, whatever. It doesn't do anything, obviously, but I know how the better move to do. So now he goes into his Flygon and I get to Will O Wisp it, which is great. It doesn't quite kill me since I am physically defensive. And he just goes for the Outrage and gets himself confused. So now I get to bring in my Rotom and Leaf Storm on everything uh, until he pretty much dies. So now I go for another Leaf Storm down to 33% uh, special attack. So I have to switch out, um, let my Kingdra die. And then I can bring back in my Rotom and finish off the game with a Leaf Storm. Turns out that he is Chore Scarf since I am Chore Scarf as well and he outsped me. So that was a great game. If I did not uh, hit that Will-O-Wisp, I would have lost the game. So that was a great battle, 44 turns long, uh, one of the longer battles that I've had. And I really enjoyed this one since it was a really good one. Since we uh, both made predictions and <laughs> yeah, pretty much played the game that it should be played. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hopefully you leave a like. Leave a comment and subscribe for more Pokemon Showdown or Pokemon related stuff, I guess. I'll see you in the next video.